got nine counters, so we have two numbers with a two counters with a one. We've got four fives and three twos. Um, they're turned over, so you can't see them. She takes a counter, and then she hangs on to that and takes a second counter from the remaining eight. So this is without replacement. And the question says, what's the probability that she gets a number five and then a number five? Now I could do the whole tree diagram. Uh, tree diagram is probably the easiest way to go. So the first counter that she gets could be a five or not a five. And if she gets a five, then she could have a five or a not five, and then a five and a not five. So taking her two counters. Now the probability that the first counter that she gets is a five is one, two, three, four out of nine. Now I've realised that actually we only need to find the probability of 5 and 5, which means going along this route. So all we actually need is the probability here. If she's taken out a 5, so one of those has now gone, she's left with three fives and a, a, out of a total of 8. So the probability of getting 5 followed by a 5 is going to be, we multiply along the branches, so it's going to be 4 ninths multiplied by 3 eighths. Now you can cancel that or you can leave it as is. It comes out as 12 72 ths, which is the same as you can leave it like that or you can simplify it to 1 sixth. Okay, next bit says what's the probability that the sum of the numbers on the two counters she takes is divisible by 3? So this time we're not just interested in 5 and not 5, we're actually interested in the total. So I'm going to draw a tree diagram again, but this time with three possibilities followed by three possibilities in each case. So the first counter that she could get could, could be a one or a two or a five. And then she could get a one followed by a one, a one, two, one, five, or it could be two, one, oops, and then two, two, and then two, five, or it could be um, five, one, five, two, and five, five. Now the question says the sum of the two numbers on the counters is divisible by five. So let's just work out the sum. So if she gets a one followed by a one, then her total will be two. If she gets a one followed by a two, then her total is three. So actually that is divisible by three. Okay, if she gets a one and then a five, then actually she's got six, which is divisible by three. So this root also gives her a number which is divisible by three. A two followed by a one, well that gives her three, so that's another possibility. Two followed by two, well that's four, that's not divisible by three. Two five, well that gives her seven. Five one, well that's six again, so that's another root. Five and two is seven, five and five is ten. So she has got four different ways in which she can get a total score or in which she can get a total score of six. So let's put the probabilities on. The probability that her first counter is a one, well there are two ones, so that's going to be two out of nine, and the two is three out of nine, and five, remember, was four out of nine. Just check, that adds up to nine ninths. We've got three, four, five, nine ninths, yeah. Okay, I'm not interested in all of these. If she gets a one first time, well there are going to be three twos left out of eight. If she gets a one first time, there's still going to be four fives, so that's four eighths. If she gets a two first time, then there are going to be two ones left, so that's two eighths. And the last one down here, if she draws a five, um, there are still going to be eight left, and the number of ones is going to be the original two. So we need to do four separate multiplications. There's no quick way of doing this, really. So for her to get a one followed by a two, well, that's going to be two ninths times three eighths. For her to get a one, then a five, with a total of six, that's two ninths times four eighths. For her to get this, which is a two followed by a one, then that's going to be three ninths times two eighths. And for her to get a five followed by a one, well, that's going to be four ninths multiplied by two eighths. Right, if we do all these multiplications, I'm not going to simplify any of these, I'm just going to do the multiplications. That's six seventy-two ths that's 8 out of 72, that's 6 out of 72, and that's 8 out of 72. So it could be that she gets a 1 and a 2, or a 1 and a 5, or a 2 and a 1, or a 5 and a 1, which tells us that we need to add these fractions together. So we're going to do 6 72 plus 8 72 plus 6 72 plus 8 72 
Now don't add the bottoms, that's just 70 tooths. Add the tops though, that's going to be 14 and 14, well that's 28. So the answer is 28 70 tooths. Now again, you could simplify that if you wanted to, to 14 over 36 or 7 18ths, but there's no need, you get full marks for that.